Elon Musk seems destined to create the car of the future, or he did, until rumors of Apple's pitch for what that car might look like hit the internet. So will Musk win the race to the highways of the future, or will he be crushed by Apple just like the Zunes and Fire Phones of yesteryear? Imagine a car with a swooped black aerodynamic top that merges beautifully with a white bottom half that features all new redesigned tires, LED lights, and the Apple logo right in the middle. No, this isn't a car from some cyberpunk movie like Blade Runner. This is Apple's Project Titan. Apple is well known for creating products that look sleeker, friendlier, and more futuristic than their competitors, and this Apple car might just be their masterpiece. One look at the designs of it, and it's easy to see why Elon Musk might be nervous. It is the perfect sell for the car of the future. Everything from the lights, to the doors, to the windows has been redesigned to practically reinvent the car itself. The inside of the vehicle will feature a high-res LED screen just like the Teslas do, only this one will likely be an iPad instead of just reminiscent of one. The car will also have a Siri-style system that responds to voice commands. That's just the design though. What are the rumored specs? Well, with electric cars, everything is about the battery. Battery life. Rumor has it that Apple has developed the very best battery created so far, which is said to take up less space and will likely be far more efficient. Elon has balked at these claims, saying that they are overly ambitious and scientifically impractical, problems that have never stopped Apple before. Technically, there's one major feature Apple is reportedly using that Tesla hasn't been able to crack, and that is fully autonomous driving. This means that it will operate by the passenger inputting a destination and then the car will drive itself. Not only that, but it will also feature LiDAR sensors, which stands for light detection and ranging, that makes advanced 3D models of the road in real time. Basically, it is a way to determine ranges by targeting an object or a surface with a laser. Then it measures the amount of time it takes for the reflected light to return to the receiver. Think of it sort of like radar, except with light instead of sound. This will drastically improve the vehicle's ability to plan routes and avoid potential hazards or pedestrians. Aside from dangers to pedestrians or to the passenger, many people fear that these cars could be hacked and that criminals could make the cars do whatever they want. Truthfully, this is one of the biggest concerns in the industry. It's not hard to see how a group of hackers could make the self-driving car dream into a nightmare. Apple is already on top of this, utilizing some of the finest security systems known to man. Apple sells itself as the company which makes unhackable devices, so hopefully the Apple car continues that trend. Then there's the price. The Apple car is rumored to have a price tag that might just run Tesla out of business. The current projection is that it will cost around $75,000. If all these specs are proven to be accurate, the team at Tesla should get to work. It's reported that the Apple car could hit the road by 2025. Knowing the EV industry though, chances are that 2025 estimate might end up becoming something like 2028 or even 2038. It is known for exactly that sort of thing. So how does Tesla measure up against the latest Apple car claims? Obviously, the first advantage Apple would have over Tesla is the sheer brand recognition and loyalty. So what is it about Apple that has made it such a consistent name in the tech world for so many decades? The shortest explanation is style. While Tesla has spent years building up its rep as one of the coolest car companies in the world, Apple Motors would start off with a reputation that includes millions of iPhone, iPad, iMac, and iWatch users users who would be eager to get one more Apple product. That, and there's absolutely no doubt that the Apple car would have all sorts of compatibility features with your other devices to make the whole experience the coolest thing for Apple fans everywhere. 
As far as the electric vehicle's main feature, the lithium-ion battery that takes away the need to fill up at the pump. Currently, Tesla is the leader. That's the Tesla Model S, which has an impressive range of 373 miles. They are quite large, taking up most of the car's underside. As far as charging goes, the Model S takes 10 hours to fully charge. Apple's battery is far more ambitious. It is reportedly a monocell battery that takes up very little space. It is said to have a range that is upwards of 500 miles. What's even more impressive is the charge time. This is a true game changer with a time of 20 minutes. That means that it could charge at roughly the same amount of time as your iPhone. They are reportedly also working on an even more impressive lithium iron phosphate battery, which will be more efficient and much less likely to overheat, a serious concern with the lithium ion batteries. Regardless of which has the better battery, the more EVs on the road, the more charging stations will be built across the country. This will assuage most people's doubts about how practical these cars are for long-range travel. Call this one a win-win. As far as design goes, that's probably the closest competition. While the Apple car looks to be trying to reinvent the car altogether, the Tesla line looks like the sleekest version of the type of car that already exists today. Both of these will be aerodynamic, smooth rides that look absolutely amazing. Each potential buyer will have to make the decision about which one is more stylish. Right now, it seems like a bit of a toss-up. As far as the price goes, Apple could be looking to undercut Tesla right out of the market. That $75,000 price tag the car will reportedly cost will devastate the Tesla Model S, which runs for around $81,990. While Tesla will still feature cheaper vehicles like the Tesla Model 3, which goes for around $46,490, buying a top-of-the-line EV for a bit more money will probably entice a lot of buyers especially if their best feature turns out to be true. The biggest advantage Apple will potentially have is its autonomous driving function. Tesla has famously struggled with this tech, and if Apple is able to get one of these to the market, it will be game over. They will have changed the game and have utterly destroyed Tesla's legacy. It will be the Zune of electric vehicles. Autonomous driving, though, is still a hard sell for many drivers. Many don't want to give up the feel of the wheel in their hand. Luckily, the Apple car still features the ability to drive yourself. Though, reports that the car might be able to take the wheel out of your hand if you're driving recklessly or under the influence might scare some buyers off. Though many more may be won over by the opportunity to take a nap in your car in Boston and wake up in New York City. All that being said, Tesla still has the advantage over Apple. That's because Tesla is actually producing electric vehicles that can be purchased today. Their features aren't hypothetical. They are real cars that are driven by real celebrities, Uber drivers, and regular people every single day. So far, Apple cannot compete with that. In the world of electric cars, no name is more recognizable than Elon Musk's. His company Tesla Motors has revolutionized the industry by making the concept of owning an electric car cool. It has been assumed and predicted by futurists all over the world that Musk's electric revolution will be just as significant as the changeover to a Model T from a horse and buggy. So now that the electric revolution seems to be picking up speed, is Musk worried that Apple will snag his legacy right out from under him? Judging from his tweets and public comments, it certainly seems like it. His feud with the potential Apple Motors started all the way back in 2016, where he openly discussed how Apple's newest EV venture was one of the worst kept secrets in tech. He noted that it's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. At the time, he actually seemed a lot more positive about the idea. He thought that it would expand the industry and that it would assuage the fears many consumers have over both electric and self-driving vehicles. 
For years, he has maintained the belief that cars burning fossil fuels that are driven by humans will seem like a strange anachronism in the near future, so a trusted company like Apple entering the market would only help his vision of the roadways of the future come true. Well, his attitude hasn't remained so positive. It seems like any time the subject of the Apple car is brought up, Elon Musk decides to start a Comedy Central style roast of the company. Many of his tweets are inspired, such as his joke that when the Apple car is released, the engine and headphone jack will be sold separately. He has since continued his tirade against the company. At an earnings call, he said with conviction that their philosophy was not to create a walled garden and use that to bludgeon other competitors, which is used by some companies. If that wasn't clear enough, he then literally coughed and said Apple just to drive the point home. He then discussed again that Apple joining the industry would be good for everyone, seemingly putting the feud to rest. Of course, then he immediately opened up an intense discussion over the failings of the App Store and the iPhone. So why exactly has Musk's demeanor concerning Project Titan changed over the years? Well, there are several answers. For starters, the early optimism Musk had in Tesla's ability to roll out the future has been met with constant failures and roadblocks. Beyond even struggles of engineering a viable electric car, he has gone on record stating that building a self-driving car has been much more difficult than he originally envisioned. It's been widely reported that Musk's public, easygoing demeanor is the opposite of his work personality. Over the years, it's been reported many times over that he is hostile, relentless, and makes insanely unreasonable deadlines and is livid when they aren't met. So the concept of another company stealing Tesla's thunder would make his obsession make a lot more sense. This attitude has also seemingly driven people away from Tesla Motors. Apple has been reportedly poaching as many people from Tesla as possible, including Jamie Carlson, a former engineer on Tesla's autopilot self-driving car program. Of course, this could all be a lot more personal for Musk. He has made sure to point out several times that during the lowest point of Tesla Motors, Musk actually considered selling the company to Apple. He tried to arrange a meeting with Tim Cook, Apple's CEO, but evidently Cook refused to meet with Musk altogether. Seeing how many times Elon has tweeted about this, it's safe to say this snub left quite the impression. Of course, none of this truly measures up to the most important reason Elon is nervous. That would be the rumored specs of the Apple car that could easily make it Tesla's greatest rival to date. Apple's plans to reinvent the electric car go all the way back to 2008, shortly after the launches of both the first iPhone and the first Tesla. Steve Jobs was reportedly so impressed with Tesla that he wanted to enter the electric car arena in the near future. He would never get the chance to see it through but the dream remained alive and well. Project Titan is rumored to have begun as early as 2014, with Vice President Steve Zadesky, a former Ford engineer, in charge. For years, rumors swirled around that thousands of employees had been tasked with researching possibilities for everything from self-driving technology to electric engines to a friendly user interface that would make the car feel less like a scary AI that would be taking your keys away from you and more like essentially a giant comfortable iPhone that carted you around wherever you'd like. Apple has yet to fully reveal their plans, but the early design leaks have caught consumers' attention and made at least one electric car pioneer very, very nervous. There are even more reasons to think the design of the Titan, Apple car, iCar, or whatever they end up calling it, will be the best money can buy. Apple has reportedly taken meetings concerning a potential acquisition of one of the biggest names in the automotive industry. That would be Porsche. This luxury brand has long presented itself as the sleekest, most stylish ride money can buy. Does that strategy remind you of any other company? This would absolutely be a match in company heaven and one that Elon Musk would have to watch out for. 
It is worth noting that while Apple has soared into the future with unparalleled grace many times over the years, they are also known for tripping headfirst into the future with disastrous products like the Newton, the Apple III, and the time where they forcibly downloaded a U2 album onto everyone's devices. Many tech enthusiasts will point out that there are many products that have arguably outperformed Apple at every turn, that Apple is not actually the greatest tech company on earth, but that some consumers are basically part of an enormous cult devoted to every new iPhone that gets released. The electric car market is well known for having constant delays, unseen technical problems, and disastrous performance issues. Project Titan seems to be no different with numerous reports of layoffs, shifts in focus, and frustrating hangups that are responsible for the company's secretive approach. I think it's safe to say that Apple's latest gamble will prove to be either another generation-defining success or a mesmerizing failure that will still haunt them for years to come. While Elon Musk and Tim Cook battle it out for supremacy of the finest EVs on the market, they are far from the only ones entering the electric vehicle game. There are a ton of competitors on the horizon as the electric revolution marches on. Supercars, SUVs, standard vehicles, and multi-million dollar hypercars are all headed to the road near you. First, we've got the Audi e-tron S, which is all the rage right now. It's got three high-powered motors and a range of 220 miles per charge. Then there's the battery life, which is said to take upwards of 10 hours to fully charge. These go for around $84,800. Then we have the BMW i4, which looks like it wants to compete with the Tesla Model 3. It has a range of 301 miles with a charge time of 8.2 hours. The price on this beauty is said to be around $55,400. Next, we've got a Maserati MC20 EV. It has a range of 235 miles. It can get up to a full charge in 12 hours. These go for upwards of $216,995. Then there's the stunning Lotus Avaya. Its range is 250 miles with a charge time of a shockingly swift 18 minutes. This hypercar will only have 130 models, with each going for a huge price of $2 million. No matter what car you drive, one thing is perfectly clear. Elon Musk's prediction that cars that run on gasoline will be a quirky thing of the past is 100% coming true. In 20 years, a gas-powered car might be as outdated as a VCR in the 2020s. That is definitely a nice thought to hold on to while you're filling up your car at the pump. The only thing that could worry Elon more is if Apple started a $76 billion space program next. If Apple makes it to Mars first, he is not going to be happy.